All right, again, we're looking at the RAM, right? We have ST RAM. It stands for Synchronous Dynamic RAM, right? When we talk about RAM, we have ST RAM. Synchronous, right? Dynamic RAM. And this is a DDR type. Okay, DDR stands for. We have DDR, sometimes called DDR1, double data rate. All right. Read or write two words of data per clock cycle. That means you can read or write right, two words. Of their per clock cycle. Now let's talk about Data that we're referring to here, right? We come back to the data, the smallest unit is bit. And we said one byte has eight bit. Data in the term of computer, we look at zero and one, correct? The stream of zero and one. We have a binary numbers. Which is zero or one. So one bit. One bit you can look at it as a storage for either the values of zero right or one. So now, if I have one bit, I can tell that I can represent two values, right? Either zero or one, right? My question is if I have two bits, how many values I can represent? One should be 00, 01, 10, or one one so two bits I can represent four values how about if I have three bit I should use lowercase when we talk about bit uppercase for byte I'm talking about the B capitalized B for byte lowercase B for bit so how many values I can represent if I have three bits? We can start to say 000, 001, right? 010, 011, 100, 101, 110, and 111. If we count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So this is like a probability, right? 2 times 2 times 2, right? Then you get 8. So we technically can say, if you said 2 to the power of n, right? And when n is a number of bits, right? So for example, if I have 1 bit, 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 bit 2 to the 2 is 4. 3 bit 2 to the 3 is 8. Now my question, which you may see in the test too, if 
I need to represent English alphabet. How many bits do I need? All right, so we said how many alphabets are there for English alphabet? There are twenty six, right? So there are twenty six. So twenty six. We need how many bits to represent twenty six values? We said if I have four bits, four bits is going to be two to the four, giving you sixteen. Right, which is not enough for the English alphabets, right? Because English alphabet has twenty six. So we will have five bits. That gives you thirty two, which which is enough, but. We haven't have, have uppercase and lowercase. Uppercase and lowercase meaning difference, right? So that means we have to double these values, right? For uppercase and double case, right? Fifty-two. Now five bit is not enough for fifty-two because the max is just thirty-two. So if I do six bit, it's going to be two to the six is sixty-four. Now, if the question asks for okay, English alphabet, we double kiss, lower kiss, so that's six bits, right? But in order to communicate, so computer use O one one O. We said okay, English alphabet six bit. We can make a sentence, right? Like for example, you want to say. For example, if I say a letter A, I want to say add, right? A the add word. Then I just do a stream of the set of six bit and six bit that give me stream of twelve bits, right? Right. Correct. Like, for example, I say letter A could be. This is just my standard example. I'm gonna say okay when I say O O one O. That's four bits. Uh, I need another two bits. One O. Okay, that could be a letter A. I just throw in some standard, right? Uh, letter B could be O O one O one one, right? Or let us see. It could be. I just give up some name, right? This should be one o o, right? A letter D could be o o one one o one. Now, if I want to say word add, uh, technically it should be equals to what o o one o one o. If I'm using this standard, and then o o one one o one. So when I type add. This is being stored into the computer register. And register, you see, you could control where you want to do with this data, right? And it could be go to RAM and ROM as this is bit. Remember how many bits are there? Twelve, right? Twelve bits being stored. But if I use this standard, and Apple use another standard, IBM use another standard, can the devices talk? No, because a letter A in my standard is O one O one O, but Apple could have their own, and IBM has their own, right? Then we need a standard that everybody going to use, and. When we talk about standards, just like the unit that we use is matrix, right? In the standard, but in the US they use matrix. 
when you travel off the US then how tall are you 170 is it in feet it's centimeters you see it can be confusing right because they're talking about like 5 feet 10 inches right in here so that's why we have to have something to convert again but if we just follow the standard then we don't have to worry about that I will use ASCII standard first we have ASCII uh, you pronounce it as he, right? stand for American standard code for in Information interchange. Okay, we go use this ASCII standard. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the ASCII table. If I look at letter A, you see we use decimal is 65, hexadecimal is 41, this is just number bits, decimal is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. It's happened to be sequenced out at 65. And ASCII actually not only just represent English alphabets, we just talk about English alphabets, right? But ASCII represent the symbols. Space bar, your keyboard exclamation mark. Because in order to communicate, we also have symbols. And even the number itself, 0 to 9 for decimal. And those, like, shift out, shift in. This is correct. Return that enter key, delete key, right? And those are the other symbols. Omega, phi, mu, zeta, summation, square root. See that? If you happen to look at your standard keyboards, you should have about 104 keys. Now when you shift, you pretty much just have different things in here. Uppercase, lowercase, right? So how many bit do we need now? So we said the value is about if I just look at standard keyboard 104 with the shift is 208, how many bits do we need? Okay, if we have seven bits, this can take how many values can be given? 128 which is not enough so we need 8 bit right it's gonna be 256 values and how many bits how many bytes how many bits in one byte okay so that's why when I Type a letter A. I save this file. Can you guys guess what's the size of this file? One what? One byte. Let's take a look. One byte. See that? One byte. Right. So let's say a add. Let's take a look. What's the size now? Two. So when you buy an iPhone 16 gigabyte, you can pretty much have 16 billion letters stored in your phone and say memory full. But technically, you have less than.